in GarageBand, shall we? Um, so I'd already dragged from the Roadcaster into here. There were a whole bunch of other empty tracks down here, so I just came over here and pushed um, delete, that clears all the regions, and then delete again, and the track disappears. Command undo will undo that. Uh, by default, and I can rename this, this will be like the main mix, mix left. See, I, I move that to the left, and then mix right, and I'll, I'll move that all the way to the right. So the roadcaster will give you one and two. The first two you'll see are the stereo mix, and I'll just mute those. I push the letter M, and it will mute. Shortcuts are awesome in GarageBand. And then I just listen to the people. Uh, solo, guess what I'm going to push? S. You got it. Good job. Hi, and welcome to our... Right, I verify this is Mark. Double click here. And it was called like something something one. Um, and then, you know, kind of zoomed ahead and found a Tell spot. Tell me what your goal is. Program, like the one we solo. ran earlier. Yep, that's Amy. Double click, cool. Amy. So I already took the time. Um, I kept the first six tracks. I like to keep these because the uh, the waveforms are way, way bigger than down here. So it actually, if I zoom way in, um, I can actually see much better. I'm, my eyes are right up here. I'm not looking down here. So if I want to come in and like edit right before Amy talks, like if we listen, well, our goal right, you hear that? That's That's no good. So I can actually, with my eyes up here, get nice and close to right before she talks. And I'm not looking down here, although that's actually big enough. But down here, it's harder to see where some of the words are. And here, it's much easier to see. So I like to keep mix left and right, but I like to mute it. Okay? And then let's say I want to uh, to start editing. So I listen to this in real time, right? So I added the theme song. I can do that by going to the Finder and adding your theme song. And all I need to do is drag it to where there's there's some extra space. So right down there, and, and that's how I got this. I gave it a name, theme, if I double click, no, can I change if I right click or click with two fingers? I can even change that icon, let's hide that. Um, and now, Hi. there it is, right? So back in the day, um, everything used to be here. And so what actually happened when I first dragged this in right before I started recording is you got this. Hi, and welcome to our latest episode. And that's no good. Um, so if I solo the theme, S for solo, if I have this selected. Return will always jump it back to zero. Spacebar will start and stop. And then I can select all. Command A for all is super, super good. And I want your voice to start right here. So I'm going to just drag this until your voice is right here. And then, oops. Although not oops, I did that on purpose. I'm going to bring that theme song back, OK? Watch that again if you need to. I'm not going to do it twice. Welcome to our latest Yeah, episode. right? That's awesome. And then this automatically fades this file. I'll make sure you get this file. Of remarks and reflections. And, and I'm going to listen. Offering so I'd listen if you stumble over everything. I'm going to cut that. Let me show you how to do that. When Amy starts talking, there's actually a, that, that lip smack. Opportunities to try problems that their own children have engaged with during the year. Welcome, everybody. Hi. Hi. Hello. Thanks for joining Let's us. Let's actually know it's here. It's like at the minute mark. Right? So I'm not going to go through the whole darn thing, but I do know that this is bothering me. Well, our And so I'm going to come in here. I, uh, I can just pinch with my fingers. Um, you know that thing where you like do the forced perspective and you're like squishing someone's head? It's that gesture where your fingers on the trackpad and I just pinch to zoom down to make it really, really small or pinch open to zoom it really, really close together. I was right around the minute mark. Where was that? There it is, 114. And so I'm going to zoom in a little bit more and get right here. Um, my favorite way to edit in GarageBand is to command A for all. So every region, every file is selected and then command T for split. Are you ready? You ready for the magic? Command T, it split it. Do you see how this is a file and this is a file? Let me command Z to undo. So this is one region, command T, and then I have this selected. Um, and then all I would need to do is move this a little bit here, so here it is without the smack. The team achieve that. Well, our goal for the right here it is with before achieve I moved that. it. Well, our goal. That's no good. This is much much better. Achieve that. Right. Well, our goal for the program, like the one we ran. And then if we didn't like that, depending on how picky you want to be, 
I'll start right before she talks. I always want to want to keep this part solid and delete to the left. So Command A for all, Command T for cut, and I'm doing that with my left thumb and left forefinger, and I'm going to drag over. So now the goal for the program, like the one we and maybe Command Z. I actually don't need that. For the program. All right, I can also Command Z it if I, want, I like that lip smack back. Um, I'm going to pinch my fingers together on the trackpad without clicking. And I've actually edited this. We actually had a really good run where there wasn't much edited, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you kind of a before and after to show you what I would be looking for and the editing choices I did make. So I can click to drag. So I'm gonna click where there's space and then zoom in a little bit more. You can see I edited right here. So if I just click this bottom right corner, whatever's selected will keep going. So let's listen to what it was before I made that edit choice. So it was, it was a great experiment. So, um, right, I think it was just too long of a pause. And so, let's see, here's what it does sound like with that edit. Great experiment. We'll try to make sure the prop. Oh, 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 because you, ah, what happened there? Let's really drag it in here a little bit more. So, it was, it was a great experiment. So, um, and by the way, I, I should add, I think we'll, we'll try to make sure the problems are actually accessible to anybody listening to this. Did you hear there was a couple false starts? People do that all the time. And that, for some podcasts, that's totally fine. Uh, for others, like for this one, I actually didn't want this first part of the response. So, um, and by the way, I, I should add, I think we'll, we'll try to make sure the problem... And so what I did is I ended up splitting it right about here. I would zoom way, way in. And again, my eyes are looking here at the muted left and right mix, not down at, at actually your voice, because it's much easier to see the waveforms up here, because um, it just ends up being bigger and louder up here. Um, so it might have been like right there is when you started talking. We'll try to make sure the... Or maybe right here. We'll, we'll try to... Maybe right there, actually. We'll try to make sure... Right, so if I start it here, listen to how clean that is. We'll try to make sure the problems are actually accessible. Much better than what it was. So where I'm going to undo and show you what the edit was, okay? Just Command Z. Trust me, that edit was there. Sorry, I moved around. It's not a good tutorial. Maybe not. So it was, it was a great experiment. We'll try to make sure the problems are actually accessible. And do you hear how it was a little bit off? So I can actually come in here, or actually it's just yours, so I can even just single click on your track, this region, and maybe start it a teeny bit earlier. We'll try to make sure the problem... Oh, it's so much better. Listen to what it was before. We'll try to make sure... That sounds a little cut off, because it was. Great experiment. We'll try to make sure the problem... Yeah, actually... that's awesome. Let's keep going. So in real time, I would be listening to all of this. If there's too much of a gap here, Command A, Command T, and scoot that over but I would never do it without actually listening. So I'm gonna just undo all of that. Uh, right here's another spot you can see where I edited. So if I select this, this is what it would have been. So we're looking, this is a little goofy, but this is me um, listening to it, pretending that this is not edited. Here's the original part. The process that you've taken and kind of the, the, prog the pro progress that you've seen with, with the- Right, so we wanna, we wanna fix that again in live, um, actually undo that. When people are speaking live, it's totally fine. But if you want that polish, here's where I would yeah, look. Kind of the the, prog the pro progress that you've seen. So it's actually right here is what we want. Progress that you've seen. Pro the pro so the, 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 the so this is the progress, right? The the, pro the pro progress. And so command command A for all, command T to cut, and then drag it after the progress let's see if that's it and kind of the progress that you've seen with yeah right that's good stuff so command a command t and then move the stuff to your right to your left that is the workflow for um for editing and you can see as i've gone through i would say for your podcast this is about as light as i have edited Right, you can see here I cut a little bit there, a little bit there. Uh, if there's too long of a pause, if somebody kind of starts to speak and then starts themselves over here, um, I think Autumn was farther away from her mic and so I actually deleted the other people not talking. Um, that's a bit excessive, but there's definitely um, some issue where I wanted to, well, we could just listen. If I come over here, click on Mark and S for solo. Right, and if we go back and I unsolo, nope, 
click on your track, ask for solo. And I just wanted you to turn around and ask the audience, raise your hand if you're... Yeah. So anyway, so there's something going on there where I want to delete the other tracks because Autumn's only here. I could delete all the other stuff. You know, similarly, this is just Amy talking. So I could come in if I wanted and delete Mark, Autumn, Clara. I try not to deal with that. You can see even though one person tends to talk at a time, I tend to just leave all four of the tracks and then for my eyes to see the master left and right. Uh, and then similarly with the outro, I will head back here, find your outro with your fade and your voice, and then just drag it to an empty space like that. And then get the timing to, just to right. To be a student at Hoboken and to be able to engage in this math program. It is. Absolutely. Thank you, Mark. Thank you. Thanks. You've been listening oh, to... Oh, nice. That was actually a really good edit. Um, but I could move this ahead. The outro with fade and voice. It starts off quiet and then ramps into your voice. Uh, and then when I'm done, I would just go up to share. Uh, you can't see it. But it, uh, it says GarageBand, file, edit, track, re re record, I almost said record three times, mix, share, and then export song to disk is how I like to share it. I will export the whole thing. If I had just a little part, you could export just a little part. You don't want to do that. I always do it as an MP3, high quality. High quality is plenty. Um, if you're doing a bunch of edits, it'll give you the date and the time. Typically, I will not do that. I will actually give it a name, season one episode, and then because it goes online on the internets, um, we don't want spaces. And so I like that you can read different words. So I put a dash right next to the letter zero, the subtract, I guess, dash, and then I would I would click export and it would go, if I pinch to zoom to show you the whole thing, this is the whole thing. So intro, all our edits, outro, and it goes do, 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 do. right? I can grab the timeline here, my little playhead, and look at it. Um, one other thing I didn't say as I started editing right up here, I always want this on time. The default is beats and project, and this is not helpful for podcasts. So that that is what I have, and that helps me. And then just pinch to zoom. I think there's other ways to zoom. Maybe this will zoom. Is that That's another way to zoom. Yeah. So that'll zoom too. I just like pinching close or open with my fingers. That's, that's helpful. Um, and that's, that's me editing in GarageBand.